What's up, guys? All right, so we got a 2017 Toyota RAV4 here that we're gonna put our uh, Toyo TL6 2.1 um, remote start kit on. This is 100% plug and play. And as you can see, there's only three harnesses that we need to plug in for this sucker to work. So we got uh, a little five pin harness, a seven pin harness, and a 30 pin harness here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing apart real quick. Um, I'll pause the video here and there, but uh, spare you the boring details. But um, basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna stick a little screwdriver in here and this whole panel is just gonna pop out. Um, and then we're gonna pull the steering column off and how we do that is, let me turn the ignition on and I'll show you here. So this one's a, a push button start, obviously. So you're gonna turn the wheel and there's a screw right here and you turn the wheel the other way and there's a screw on the other side. So we're gonna pull those two screws out the top part um, is going to stay on. The bottom part, I usually just stick like a little pry tool, plastic tool, or a little flathead screwdriver right in this little crease and pop down, and this whole piece will pop out. So let me um, let me get that off real quick, and then I'll come back over here. We'll take this off, and I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do. All right, guys, so I got the two screws out. Um, I went ahead and um, unpaused the video so that way you guys could see the... Um, disassembly of the actual vehicle so right here if you can see that I'm gonna put a screwdriver in this just pops down right here um, just kind of squeeze it on both sides pull it down set it off to the side um, this panel that's over here um, I usually like I said just put a little screwdriver here or just right here between like the little cloth part or the leather and that and all you gotta do is just pry it to get your finger in and it just pops right on out there's a harness attached to it um, and you just poke it loose and then you got your three plugs. I usually just go ahead and remove this thing and set it off to the side so it's not in my way. Okay, so um, and that's all that you have to take apart. As far as the installation goes, the five pin and the seven pin actually both go up here in the steering column area. The other big one, it goes down here next to the OBD2 connector. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the module down here on the floor and I'm gonna run the five and the seven pin up here like underneath the dash here. So what I'm gonna do is just pry this little under dash down. I'm gonna run them up through here. And then the seven pin goes, it's a black connector over on the right hand side. It plugs into a big silver box looking thing. Um, you'll kind of see it. it. There's only one plug that it looks like the seven pin. So we're gonna basically undo the factory one and put our T-harness in. And then the five pin is way up here. Uh, basically right, let's see. It's the one closest to the steering wheel itself. It's just a little black. Um, some of them might be blue, but on this RAV4, it's a black plug, and you just uh, plug it into ours. You plug our mail up into that one, and then um, the kit has zip ties provided. These harnesses right here, uh, we made them the right length so you could just kind of fold it, zip tie it up against the factory loom right there, and come right on down. That way the steering column fits right back up there, and there's no issue with fitment or rattling. Um, connectors or anything like that so what we're gonna do now I'm not really sure how this is gonna work out but there's a one connector left which is this one um, there's a toggle switch on it so the toggle switch is for your auto lights if you're not sure if you have auto lights look right here on the steer uh, the steering column shroud or I'm sorry the, the headlight switch and it'll say auto if you have auto lights make sure the switch is on like this if you do not have auto lights make sure it's off so in this case it obviously has auto so we're going to turn auto on um, and then this connector right here um it's gonna go okay so here's the obd2 connector right here our 30 pin connector that we want to um uh intervene with our t harness is right here 
you'll see the OBD2, you'll see the fuse box. And there's two harness, or I'm sorry, there's two connectors down here that might look like mine. They are not. You want the one with the most wires in it, which is gonna be um, obviously this one right here. That one only has a few. So what I'm gonna do is unplug that, plug our plug our T harness in right here, and all right, guys. So I got down there, um, got the 30 pin harness plugged in. Um, here's our module completely plugged in. This is our um, safety disable switch. So this is an on and off switch that um, this one doesn't have it because it's our sample harness but um, yours is actually going to have an on and off label like our auto headlight switch so it's a completely um, disable switch for any reason that you want to disable the remote start switch this thing to off and uh, it basically disables the whole thing it won't it won't activate from the remote um, it acts like it's never here and then um, when you're ready to turn it back on flip it on and you're good to go it just turns green so you know in the event you need to change a battery also it's just like pulling power from it uh, this thing will just go green and out when you put a new battery in you won't have to do any other programming or anything so um, I already programmed this but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the whole pr procedure so we got the harnesses in um, you know it takes less than five minutes you come down here um, your modules either gonna have a button on the front or a button on the side depending on what module you get so you're gonna push the button on the module you're gonna flip the toggle switch to on the lights can turn orange let go of the button it comes on red okay so now I'm gonna reach up here and push the um, push button two times to turn ignition on and the lights gonna turn green and go off and we are done so I'm gonna turn the ignition off and uh, seriously that's all there is to it it's it's done so now on the key fob we're gonna hit lock three times so I'm gonna reach up here by the door latch and push the door pin in. And I'm gonna hit lock, lock, lock. You'll see the light on here flash a couple times. It'll do its little, what it does. And well, you saw the phone rattle, so we're running. So I'll show you the tack real quick. So we're at the tack. I got a lane departure alert malfunction because, uh, well, I have it unplugged right here. It's one of these plugs right here. When you plug it in, it'll go away. But um, just use the provided zip ties with the kit. There's a spot right up in here to zip tie it to. Um, you can extend the safety switch if you want. Some guys drill a hole in the dash, which I, I, I don't really recommend, but um, if you zip tie it here and you know where it's at, all you gotta do is just reach up here and flip it. So um, that's it. The, all of our RAV4 platforms are this exact installation uh, with the exception of the hybrid. If, um, if we don't have a video up of the hybrid, it should be up pretty shortly. If you guys have questions regarding the hybrid model, um, in the meantime, just give us an email. Um, I'll put a link down here in the description on this kit so you guys can um, check out the, the details and, and purchase it if you want. It's, uh, we hit us up on www.12volt.solutions. We um, We'll have some more videos, and, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.